Hi, welcome back to another episode of Baker Make. I'm Angela Kapeski. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Xbox 360 cake. First we're going to start off by making the headphones and you need to take some black fondant and mix some seam C or Tylo through the black fondant. And this will just help harden the fondant up. So we'll just roll it up in a ball and then we're going to roll it out into a long piece. Smooth it down with a ruler and then I'm using a ruler here with the smoother just to straighten it up. Take a sharp knife and we're just going to cut that down. Turn that on its side and we're going to make the shape of the top part of the headphones there. Okay, roll out some black fondant. And I'm going to be using a 6 centimeter cutter here. And this is going to be for the earpiece of the headphones. So just cut out two round circles. Place them there on the board. I'm going to take a sharp knife and we're just going to cut that edge, the side off there on both of them. And then take a ruler and we're going to make three lines in the center there. And the same with the other one. Take a small piece of black fondant and roll this out. And this is going to be the microphone part for the headset. So just roll that out. I'm using a ruler. We'll just take the knife and we're going to cut that down to fit that section there. So just measure it up there and then we can gauge from there on to how much we need to cut. Roll out a small small ball and stick it to the end there. Roll out another long piece of fondant and this is going to be for the back part of the headphones there. So we're just going to measure how much we need for that section and we'll just cut it off there and we'll measure it and we're going to cut two pieces the same size. Take some sugar glue or water and just place a small amount around the edges there. We'll take one piece and we're going to work our way up from the top all the way around right up to the front there. And if you have some excess there, just cut it off. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to stick those pieces to the top part of the headset. So we're going to take some sugar glue and we're just going to stick it there. And what I've done is I've used some Glad Wrap to lift the top part of the headset up so we can let these this whole piece to dry together. Okay, what you need to do now is um, trace out a template of the controller. If you don't have a controller, you can find a template on the internet um, and then just cut it out. So what I've done here is I've got some black fondant and I'm just going to shape it around until we get that shape of the controller. Okay, here we go. We have the controller there. And I've cut out the small buttons that we need for the controller. So you'll need three small um, black round circles. They're approximately 2.5 centimeters. Um, you need a gray piece, a green piece, and the four little pieces there, which is a red, blue, yellow, and green. And we'll just take some sugar glue or water again, and we'll just stick those buttons on there. So we'll start with the gray one, and then we're going to start um, the second one's going to be that black piece there. And I've just made an indent with a knife um, on that one. For that piece there, I've placed, um, I've used a skewer to make four holes in there. And that will go on the top left hand side. And same with this piece, I've made four holes in it. And that can go on that bottom section there. We'll take the small pieces there and I'm going to place the red one 
on that side there and same with the, with the other colours as well Now with the green piece you need to roll this out into a small small string and we're just going to cut that down and that's going to go over that grey piece there so just overlap it and then just cut out another one and then overlap it over the top there. Okay for the cake we need um, you need to bake two 10 inch square cakes and they're approximately three centimeters each in height and you need to make a template either by tracing one out from an actual Xbox or printing one off the internet. So what I've done here is I've filled um, the layer in, in the center there with some ganache and I've stuck, um, I've cut out the template from a cardboard board and I've just placed it on the top using some ganache to stick it to the cake and we're going to take a sharp knife and we're just going to cut out the template there on both sides. Make sure you keep your knife straight that way you get a straight even cut. And we'll just remove the excess cake there. Okay what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it around. So just place your hands and then just flip it over and remove that board there. We'll just move it over onto our work board there and now what we're going to do is we're going to sculpt the shape the curved shape there at the front so just work your way slowly from from the outside in and then just shave it off until you get that curved edge there and we'll do the same with the back part as well and do this all the way until you get the right curved shape Okay, I'm going to use some chocolate ganache today. You can use some buttercream. So we're just going to start spreading it from the side there. And we're going to work our way all the way around, as you can see there. So we'll just work our way around the cake. On the top as well, and just spread it out evenly. It doesn't look too fabulous at the moment, but it will look great once we're finished with it. So we've got a scraper here, and this is what we're going to use to make um, the cake with an even finish. So we'll just scrape that around, and just using a knife, just remove the excess off, off the scraper there. And we'll do the same with the top part as well and just working your way around from the edge and pull it back remove the excess and do the same with the curved sections there as well and as you can see we're starting to get that shape there Okay, now you need to get some black fondant and sprinkle out some icing sugar or corn flour and this is going to be the fondant what we're going to use to cover the cake with. So just roll it out and then we'll take our cake, I've brushed the cake um, with some hot water. So we'll lift up that fondant gently and we'll place it over the top of the cake. Now making sure our hands are clean we're going to secure the edges there. Just this just makes sure that um, we don't have any tears on the corner there. So just use the the side of your hands to even out that fondant there. Smooth it all the way around. And work your way all the way down to the bottom there. I'll take a sharp knife and just cut that excess fondant off all the way around 
and remove the excess there. Now I'm using a smoother and we're going to smooth out the fondant all the way around on each side. Okay, you need to take a little wheel tool here and I've got a ruler as well and what we're going to do is we're going to make the line that goes across there on an angle. So we'll take the ruler and we're going to start at the front there and position it on an angle and we're just going to push it down firmly, not too firm because it will crack. Just enough to make that line there. We'll take our little wheel tool and we're going to make that just that small curved section there. If you don't have one of these you can just use the ruler. And we'll take the ruler and we'll make the line there from the bottom. And we'll do the same with the, with the sides there as well. So starting from the center, we'll just push that down and on the other side as well. Okay, now we're going to roll out two black pieces of fondant. And I've just placed some sugar glue there on the corner. And we're going to stick this piece on. So starting from the front, just carefully work your way to the middle there and all the way down to the back. Just take a knife and cut that excess off and do the same with the other side. Okay, so what I've done here is I've printed off two edible images, one for the button and one for the disc part there. If um, you don't have an edible image printer, you can take your artwork to any cake shop and they'll have that printed off for you. Now I've covered a 15 inch board in white fondant and I've placed a ribbon around the board. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move that cake onto our presentation board here. And I've got some royal icing which I'm going to use. So we're just going to place a bit um, to the back there. And we're just going to spread that out with a knife. Now we'll take a knife and we're going to place it underneath the cake and we'll lift that cake up and place it on the board there. Okay, what I've done here is I've made two, um, two game covers. I've just rolled out some fondant and I've cut it down and again I've printed off two images there and again you can have these done, get them printed at any cake shop. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick the games onto the onto the cake there. So just place some sugar glue or water underneath the game there and position it however you like on top. And we'll do the same with the other one as well. Okay, now we're going to take our headphones from before. They're all nice and dry now. So we'll just place our sugar glue on the corners there and we'll just position it at the front of the cake. And that's our small microphone piece from before. So I'll place that there on the board. And I've made a little disc there with an edible image. And again, we'll stick that with some sugar glue. And we'll do the same with the controller. Place some sugar glue under there and we'll stick it on the game there. And there we go, it's all done. Our Xbox 360 cake. As you can see by the video, it's quite a detailed cake to make, but once you have all the little um, fine details made like the headset and the controller and the little games there, it comes together quite easily. So if you allow those pieces to dry overnight, um, they're much easier to handle. So thanks for watching the video and I look forward to showing you another video shortly. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel as I upload um, new videos on a weekly basis. And please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with um, all your friends and family. So I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Bye.